I want to tell you about one of the most powerful ways to create what we call presence in your absence. Now think about the implications of that. For so long, salespeople had some kind of a circuit that they would travel in their territory. And they would call it spending time in the field. Some refer to it like a milk run, where they would go and see certain people who bought what they were selling at different times over the course of any given quarter or over the course of a given year. The problem, of course, was if you saw somebody in January and you didn't see them again until June and your competition was in there in February and March, it may have been a long time since they've seen you and remembered what it was that you said. So the most successful sellers we see have mastered the skill that we call creating presence in your absence. So what is that? Well, imagine a series of content pieces that are designed to provide value to the buyer and to remind them of who sent them. One of the most powerful ways to do this is with a tool called a DSR, also known as a Digital Solution Room. Now that DSR acronym, don't let it, don't let it throw you off. We're just using that as a, as a code to talk about it here together. There's lots of different names that people are creating um, to describe what this thing does. It was originally called a digital sales room, but what's happened is so many different use cases have emerged where what's going on is not selling. In many cases, what's going on is education. In other cases, what's happening is um, certain firms are using it as a type of a portal. So for our purposes, we're going to call it a DSR. Now, think of a DSR like a microsite that you can literally create in two clicks. And you can create it in two clicks in a platform like Alego by using a template. So let's assume that we're on a call together and we're talking about product A. And the buyer has expressed interest in learning more about product A. And following that call, you've recorded the call and there are a couple of snippets of time, what we call moments that matter from that call. Now you could just email this to the person and it would be in their inbox with all their other emails. And then you could also add a PDF to the email, and then pretty soon it becomes a huge email. Or you could take a cue from the web and realize that when you lay things out visually on a web page, it makes it much easier for people to consume. So a DSR allows you to quickly organize content that is relevant for a buyer that you have customized. Now the good news is you don't have to customize it from scratch, by using one of the built-in templates that, for example, your marketing team can create, and of course, make sure it's approved by compliance or legal so that's only the right stuff being used, you can effectively do a save as. So in the example I just gave, they're interested in uh, learning about product A. So I go into a platform, in our case, a Lego, I click a button, and I say, I wanna create a DSR for my customer, and I wanna do it on product A. Well, it populates all of this content into a new screen, if you will, and it says you can drag their logo here, you can add their company colors here, and you can even record a little short video introducing the content that might go something like this. Hello, Mr. Buyer. I'm Mark Magnaca. As a recap to our conversation, I wanted to collect a few items of content that I thought you'd be very interested in based on our conversation. So right below this video, is the information that you requested on product A. If you have other members of your team that you'd like to share this with, or people who would like even additional detail, I've included below that the more detailed description, both videos and PDF documents on product A. I look forward to continuing our conversation. Thank you. Now that that video has been recorded as a welcome, and now that they have access through a link to this DSR, a couple of things happen. First of all, it's a completely different type of experience than getting an email from someone with a bunch of attachments because it's visually beautiful to look at. The second part that makes it so compelling is when people start clicking on the DSR, you, the person who created it, are getting notified. You're getting notified that they clicked on the product A brochure or they watched the product A video and it gives you the chance to understand what are they engaging with, what are they interested in, and then to be able to follow up with them and say, look, I got notified that um, you had clicked on product A and uh, you seem to be interested. Are there any additional questions that you have? 
Now, I know some of you have an initial reaction, which is, well, I don't want to seem like I'm, I'm stalking them. And of course, you have to do this with discretion. But most people today know that content on the web is tracked, and there's a way to do this. So the bottom line is the DSR gives you analytics and it gives you data to understand what are your buyers interested in. I can tell you that I personally have created a DSR uh, for one of our clients and I sent it to one executive and I made the DSR shareable so that she could share it with whoever else she wanted. In the course of 24 hours, that DSR was hit more than 40 times, meaning different people were cl clicking it and it was all over the world for this global company. And so when I did talk to her, I said, look, I got a report that showed people were clicking from all over the place. What is the feedback that you've gotten so far? And she said, they love the way you've presented this information. So the bottom line is DSRs are not just the selling method of the future. They're actually the selling method of the present. And if you don't know or you haven't seen them, now is the time to learn more. And Allego can be a resource to help you do that.